kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us solve a problem in which we have to prepare a overhead cost summary by using repeated distribution method as well as simultaneous equation method the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question a factory has three departments and two service departments so a factory is having three service departments that is a b and c and two service departments that is p and q the overhead departmental distribution summary shows the following means a department after primary distribution the cost was 650000 b department it is 6 lakh c department it is 5 lakh p department it is 1 lakh 20000 and q department it is 1 lakh then they have given the secondary distribution percentages means on what basis we need to do the calculation work now let us solve using repeated distribution method repeated distribution method so now this is the format here we will write this items a department b department c department these are all production departments and we have p department and q department it is service departments now first we have that is primary summary they have given us the primary summary so based on that primary summary we will first write down the amount a department it is 6 lakh 50 thousand b department it is 6 lakh c department it is 5 lakh p department it is 1 lakh 20 thousand q department it is 1 Lakh rupees. Understood? Now, first, what we need to do? We need to apportion it this P department. So here, I need to minus one lakh twenty thousand. This one lakh twenty thousand, I need to distribute in A department, B department, C department, and Q department. So here, department P. Now, let us try to distribute it. So first, I am distributing. Department piece ratio. So total amount available for the apportionment is one lakh twenty thousand. This one lakh twenty thousand has to distribute between A department, B department, C department, and Q department. So A department percentage is one lakh twenty thousand into thirty percentage. B department it is one lakh twenty thousand into forty percentage. C department it is one lakh twenty thousand into Fifteen percentage, and Q department it is one lakh twenty thousand into fifteen percentage. So now one lakh twenty thousand into thirty percentage will be thirty six thousand. Next one lakh twenty thousand into forty percentage will be forty eight thousand. Next one lakh twenty thousand into fifteen percentage will be eighteen thousand. Next one lakh twenty thousand into fifteen percentage will be eighteen thousand. Now this amount we need to write it over here. A department it is thirty six thousand. Next B department it is forty eight thousand. C department eighteen thousand. Q department eighteen thousand. Now we need to distribute department Q's cost between other departments. So one lakh plus eighteen thousand. So total I'll minus one lakh. Eighteen thousand. That I need to distribute between all this department. So now department Q, it is one lakh eighty thousand. So for A, B, C, and P department. So one lakh eighty thousand into what they have given that is forty percentage. One lakh eighty thousand into thirty percentage. One lakh eighty thousand into twenty five percentage. And one lakh eighty thousand into five percentage. So one lakh eighty thousand into forty percentage. That is seventy. Sorry, it is one lakh eighteen thousand. Sorry, one lakh eighteen. See here, one lakh eighteen. It's one lakh eighteen. One lakh eighteen. So one lakh 
eighteen thousand into forty percent will be forty seven thousand two hundred. Next one lakh eighteen thousand into thirty percentage will be thirty five thousand four hundred. One lakh eighteen thousand into twenty five percentage will be twenty nine thousand five hundred. Next one lakh eighteen thousand into five percent will be five thousand nine hundred. So this amount I need to write in the respective departments column. A department is forty seven thousand two hundred. B department it is thirty five thousand four hundred. C department it is twenty nine thousand five hundred. P department it is five thousand nine hundred. Now again five thousand nine hundred came in P department. That one we need to distribute. So department P five thousand nine hundred. Now again department P has come. That is five thousand. Nine hundred. This has to be distributed among A, B, C, and Q department. So five thousand nine hundred, five thousand nine hundred, five thousand nine hundred, five thousand nine hundred into. Let us see the percentage given in the question. A department is thirty percentage, B department is forty percentage, C department is fifteen percentage, and Q department is fifteen percentage. Now five thousand nine hundred into thirty percent will be. Thousand seven hundred and seventy. Next, five thousand nine hundred into forty percentage will be two thousand three hundred and sixty. Next, five thousand nine hundred into fifteen percentage will be eight hundred and eighty-five. Next, five thousand nine hundred into fifteen percentage will be eight eighty-five. This amount we need to write it over here. Here, thousand seven hundred and seventy. Next two thousand three hundred and sixty, eight hundred and eighty five, and eight hundred and eighty five. Again here eight hundred eighty five came. That we have to apportion it. So minus eight hundred and eighty five. It is department Q. Again we have to divide. So department Q. That is eight hundred and eighty five. So we have A department, B department, C department, and P department. So A department is eight eighty five into forty percent, B department eight eighty five into thirty percent, C department it is eight hundred and eighty five into twenty five percent, P department it is eight hundred and eighty five into five percent. So eight hundred and eighty five into forty percentage it is three hundred and fifty four. Next, eight hundred and eighty five into thirty percentage will be two hundred and sixty six. Eight hundred and eighty-five into twenty-five percentage will be two hundred and twenty-one. Next, eight eighty-five into five percent will be forty-four rupees. Now, this amount I need to write it here. So, A department three hundred and fifty-four, B department two hundred and sixty-six, C department two hundred and twenty-one, and P department is forty-four. Now, again, we got this forty-four rupees that we have to distribute. So minus forty four, that is department P's expenses we have to distribute. So department P we have got again forty four rupees that has to be divided among A department, B department, C department, and Q department. A department forty four into thirty percentage, B department forty four into forty percentage, C department forty four into fifteen percentage, Q department forty four thousand into sorry forty four into fifteen. Percentage now forty four into thirty percentage will be thirteen rupees. Next forty four into forty percentage will be eighteen rupees. Forty four into fifteen percentage will be seven rupees and six rupees. So that same amount we have to write it here: thirteen, eighteen, seven, and six. Now again here we got six. That again we have to distribute among A, B, C department. This is department Q. So department Q again, how much we got? Department Q it is again six rupees. Six rupees we have to divide it among A department, B department, C department. So A department six into thirty percent, B department six in sorry six A department six into forty percent, B department six into thirty percent, C department six into twenty five percent. So, a in six into forty percent is two point four. So two rupees six into thirty percent will be one point eight. So which is nothing but two rupees. 
so a six into forty percent that is forty percent is three rupees three point four two point four three rupees this thirty percent is two rupees six into twenty five percent is one point five which means one rupee we can consider so it will be three rupees two rupees and one rupee now we have to do the total link so here we have to do the total so now here six lakh fifty thousand plus 36,000 plus 47,200 plus 1 lakh sorry 1,770 plus 354 plus 30 plus 3 it will be 7 lakh 35,340 now a uh, a department is over now b department that is 6 lakh plus 48,000 plus 35,400 plus 2,360 plus 266 plus 18 plus 2 the total amount will be 6,86,046 rupees next here it will be 5 lakh plus 18,000 plus 29,500 plus 885 plus 221 plus 1 sorry plus 7 plus 1 it will be 5 lakh 48,604 so here it will be nil because we have distributed between A department, B department, C department. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.